Um, my name is Rahal Ahmed. I'm 32 years old, born in British Bengali. Um, I live in Tipton and I was held in Guantanamo from 2002 to 2004. An interrogation room would consist of, of a very small room, a confined space. You, the interrogator, and there would usually be two guards, or sometimes there would be no guards. And they would sit you down, ask you questions. Well, they would throw accusations at you rather than asking you questions. Um, that would be a typical day of an interrogation, following um, beatings, um, short shackling, uh, putting AC to really cold, um, making you wait to go to the toilet if you need to go to the bathroom. They wouldn't allow you to go, so you have to urinate um, on yourself. That is probably a typical day of interrogation. To me, they was all the same. Um, even though I got interrogated by the FBI and the CIA, it, it made no difference to me. I was a prisoner and it didn't matter who sat on the other side of the table, even if it was the MI5. To me, it was, it was the same. I was, I was detainee and there was my captain. I do remember specific interrogators who were good and bad. Um, some of them have left dark memories, but I don't hold any um, bad feelings to towards them. I believe that from from the president down to the basic foot soldier uh, should be tried if they have committed any illegal activity. Um, but on the other hand, there were some soldiers who were just simply um, following orders and they had no other choice because we have met guards who have done certain things to detainees and they've regre regretted and they've actually apologised to us. So I can't speak for everybody, I can't say everybody will fall in the same category.